hello coders welcome back to tutorial and guys welcome back to this series awesome react components so guys in this series i am back again with another component that is react scroll and guys this is a very awesome component if you want a smooth scrolling feature inside react application and this is very lightweight and easy to use component so guys this is the website i built with this component and you can see there are links in the nav bar section one two three and in the content you can see there are three sections and when i click on one of these then you can see how smooth it scrolls after that you can see here this is a button for scrolling to the top and when i click on this it is scrolling to the top very quickly so guys this is exactly what i am going to show you in this video so guys for this demo i am going to create a new react application in the core sandbox but if you want to use this component inside your existing react projects then you can do that too so as you can see here this is the react application right now and i'm going to remove these lines from here and i'm going to change this to tutorial so guys after that we have to install this component and to install this you can run this command npm i react scroll but for now i'm going to copy the project name from here and i'm going to paste this inside the dependency and it is going to install this component in my react application so after that you can now use this component so guys from the react scroll library we are going to import a component that is called link and after that we can import another function that is animate scroll and i'm going to import this as a scroll to make it shorter to use inside our component so now we have imported two things from this library that is link and animate scroll as scroll so guys this is the component we are going to use to implement the smooth scroll and guys this is a function we can use to implement custom scrolling features like scroll to the top or bottom so now let's use it and guys to use this we have to create some content inside our application and nav bar and guys for the content i'm going to create a div here and inside this i'm going to give a class name that is content and inside this we are going to write again three divs or sections for our content that is going to be section one and two and three after that you can see these are three sections which are going to show inside our application and after that we are going to navigate to those with the help of navigation links so after that we have to create a navigation menu so guys let's style this little bit so it looks nice in our application so now i'm going to style this with the help of this content class inside our style.css and make sure that your style.css is imported inside your application or component so now i'm going to style this so in the style.css you can see here this is the by default style and i'm not going to change this here so guys now we're going to style the content div and and guys inside the content class every div is going to be styled as follows for every div we are going to write align items to center and height is going to be the 600 pixel for each of these divs we are going to set the background color to this green for every divs this is going to be the default background now and after that i'm going to set some padding to pull this content down and i'm going to set the font size to excess large so now you can see these divs are pretty big now to show the effect and guys you can see here these all divs have the same color so now i'm going to change the background of odd divs or even divs so that you can differentiate between them where you scroll so guys in the content class for every odd divs we're going to write background to this yellowish color so now you can see this is how our application looks and if i'm going to open this new tab then you can see this is how it looks now now we have to write the code for navbar so we can show the navbar like this and inside the app.js we can write nav and inside this nav we can write the list of links and this list is going to be the on order list and there is going to be three links so three times li in this i'm going to write section one so now you can see section one here and i'm going to copy and paste this three times for the section two and section three so guys now you can see this is the nav bar now so now we also have to style this and to style this we are going to css again and guys we are going to set the position of navbar to fixed because we want to show this on the top whenever you scroll down and after that we can set the top to zero pixel and 
left to zero pixel and this is going to stick to the top from the left side and after that we can set the width of this navbar so that it shows in the whole page and after that we can set the background to white so that it can be differentiated in every divs so after that we have to set the font size to large to make it visible and after that we have to style the ul inside this navbar so let's style that too and guys for the ul we are going to set the style like this display is going to be flex so it shows in the row after that you can set it to style none to remove these dots and after that we can set the content to center and after that we can set the padding to zero pixel for each of these items and margin to zero so now it looks just like the navbar we wanted but we have to style it a little bit more and now to style this little bit more we have to write the style for the lists so now we're going to write the style for list so in the navbar in the list we're going to set some margin on the right side and after that padding for each of this list and after that cursor is going to be the pointer so guys now we have styled our navbar so now we can see this is how it looks but when you click on this this is not going to scroll to the sections for that we have to use this link component so now let's use this link component inside this list so link and now we're going to pass the text here so now you can see this is now clickable but we have to pass the props inside this link to make it work so for example we have these divs or sections and inside these sections you can see there is ids so now we can use these ids to scroll to those sections with the help of these buttons or links so now we're going to write to because this is the prop which is going to set the id for each of these links or set the position for each of these links where it is going to scroll so we're going to pass the section one inside this and now let's try this and now you can see this is immediately scrolling to these sections so it is not the smooth scroll what we want to implement so we also have to write scroll smooth is equal to true and now it is going to be smooth scroll when you click on this so now let's just copy this link from here and use for other sections too and now we're going to change this to section 2 and section 3 now let's try again and you can see here when i click on these links it is scrolling very smoothly but guys if you want to change the speed of this scroll you can do that too with the help of duration props like for the section 3 we're going to set the duration is equal to 500 milliseconds and now when i click on this link and after this again it is scrolling very fast than this and you also want to set this same speed for these two you can just copy and paste it inside all of these links or you can create a state inside your application and use that but for now i'm going to use this so now you can see this is going to be for all of this but as you can see here when we set this navbar to fixed then it is going to hide some of our content so we have to style it a little bit more to make it visible and for that i'm going to style this main div or main container so a little bit down from what we are showing right now so for that we have to create a state inside our application to set the height of this navbar and we are going to use that navbar height inside this also to style it so let's create a variable here that is going to be nav height and this nav height is going to be 45 pixels right now now inside this navbar we are going to set the size or height of this navbar so let's write a style here and inside this i am going to pass the height and this height is going to be the nav height height so now it is going to be 45 pixels and i'm going to set margin on the main container that is app container from the top whatever the size of the navbar is that is 45 pixels so from the top margin top is going to be nav height so now you can see we can see our content clearly so it is fixed now 
but guys when you scroll this you can see the content of these divs are going inside those navbar so we have to style this also and for that we can pass a new prop inside this navbar links that is uh, offset offset and inside this offset we can pass the value or pixel at which point the scroll is going to stop so for example if i'm going to write uh, 45 pixel then you can see it is stopping very soon so for this we have to pass the negative value so that it stops earlier so i'm going to pass the negative 45 and now if i try again then it is showing whole of our content so guys we have to use this offset for each of these divs so we can just pass the negative nav height here which is just the height of this navbar and now it is going to work as fine as it was so now let's reuse it for each of these links and now it is going to show the whole content of every div and guys i showed you this button which is going to scroll to the top whenever you want so now we are going to implement this with the help of animate scroll function which we imported earlier animate scroll as a scroll so now we are going to use this function to scroll to the top but for that we have to create a button inside our application so let's create a button here and inside this button we are going to use on click event listener to pass the function for scrolling to the top and this function is going to be scrolled to the top which we are going to write now after this so we are going to pass a class name inside this that is going to be scroll top button to style the button and after that we can pass the text inside this button that is the top and we have to create this function also so let's create a function here we are going to write scroll to the top and this is going to be the arrow function inside this function we are going to run this function to scroll to the top so for example scroll scroll to the top but guys the button is appearing on the bottom so now let's style it to make it appear on the on the left side of this website and the position is going to be fixed for this button too so guys this is the style for this button and the position of this button is going to be fixed and this is going to appear on the bottom 20 pixel and on the right 10 pixel and after that we're going to set the font size to x large and after that it is going to be the cursor pointer and after that we can just curve this with the help of border radius so now you can see this is button and it is going to work fine and it is going to scroll to the top when you click on this so guys now most of the functionality have been implemented but if you go to my previous project then you can see when you click on these links the color and font size of these links is changing and for that there is another prop inside this library active class and this is the prop that is going to help us to apply the active class or active style inside these links so to use this we have to write active class and now we're going to write the name of a class that we're going to use to style active classes active links inside our application so for now let's write active but guys this class is not going to appear on these links with this only we also have to use another prop that is called a spy it is just going to check for the position of our application and set the active class on whatever link we are active on so now we can use this class to style whatever the active link is so now let's style inside our styler css and guys whenever the link is active we are going to show the font to bold and background color to blue but guys it is only working on the section one link because we haven't written it on the every link so now just copy and paste on every link and now let's see it again and now you can see it is working fine when you also scroll manually then it is going to change the active class to whatever the link is or whatever the div is active right now so guys that's how you can use this react scroll component to implement a smooth scroll inside your react application and guys i'm going to leave this code inside the description below so you can just come and check the code here and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe this channel stay tuned for more videos like this and steadily keep coding and keep watching tutorial